Welcome to La Casa Cultural de Julia de Burgos. I'm Jacqueline and I'm involved with Mecha de Yale and Mariachi de Yale. My name is Michael and I'm a student coordinator involved with DSA and Sabrosura. Hi, I'm Juliana and I'm one of the head student coordinators here at La Casa. We're going to lead you all on a tour, so come and follow us. The Latine cultural center is reflected in the two beautiful exterior murals on either side of the physical center. This mural was painted in 1989 in honor of La Casa's namesake, Puerto Rican poet and civil rights activist Julia de Burgos. This mural was painted in 2002 by Maceo Montoya, Yale College class of 2002, and Francisco Delgado, School of Art 2002 as a symbol of Chicano presence at Yale and Latina unity at the center. Today, La Casa is a dedicated space for Latina students of all backgrounds to feel welcomed and appreciated at Yale. The first floor is home to our main gallery, small gallery and kitchen, and it is accessible via an AD accessible ramp and stairs. Welcome to La Casa's gallery. This multi-purpose room is the heart of La Casa's physical space where Yale and New Haven's Latina communities come together. La Casa's staff convenes for weekly staff meetings in this space. Our staff includes a director, also assistant dean of Yale College, associate director, graduate assistants, peer liaisons, and student coordinators. Once a month, leaders of student organizations affiliated with La Casa also meet with the associate director, who serves as their group advisor. Throughout the year, La Casa staff members and student organizations host community-wide events in the gallery, including but not limited to Cena Las Yes, a weekly dinner held on Friday to celebrate graduating seniors, Celebración de Luz, La Casa's winter holiday celebration, guest speakers and panelists, arts and crafts nights, poetry workshops, wellness activities, and much more. Outside of community events, you'll find students in the gallery, talking and laughing, doing homework, watching TV, and listening to music. The walls of both gallery spaces feature rotating art exhibits, proposed and coordinated by students throughout the year. Down the hallway from the gallery, on the first floor is the kitchen, where students can grab snacks and drinks, work at the counter, and of course, cook food and host dinners. Now, let's take the stairs up to the second floor of La Casa, the associate director's office, the library, and other rooms open to the community are located. Welcome to the Deco Room, named after De Colores. De Colores is La Casa's queer student group that hosts intercultural, queer dinners, queer brunches, study breaks, discussions, and is in general a place where queer Latina students can come and find community. De Colores meets almost every Friday in the Deco Room. Other student groups and La Casa staff also use this room for meetings. And lastly, the Deco Room houses La Casa's merchandise closet. Our next stop is the DB Room, named after Despierta Boricua, one of La Casa's founding student organizations and active affiliate groups, centering around uniting the Puerto Rican student population at Yale through food, music, culture, and activism. Despierta Boricua meets regularly in the DB Room for club events and meetings. Students and community members also use this room to study and be in community with one another. The room across from the Despierta Boricua room houses Alway, Latina Woman at Yale, which is a La Casa affiliated organization that fosters a supportive community for Latina students. In addition to hosting and co-hosting discussions, study halls, and formal events, the Alway room also houses supplies for members to take as needed. The Alway room is also one of the rooms used by New Haveners for ESL tutoring throughout the week. When the space is not being used by community members or organizations, students are welcome to use the space to relax, work, or bring friends. In this hidden corner of the second floor, we'll find La Casa's library, with access to two desktops, a printer, sunlight pouring through many windows. It serves as a gorgeous space to work alone or with friends. The library is also home to our third mural, representing migration and environmental nurture. It was inspired by the student community survey responses and painted in 2017 by Estefania Este Puerta, who was an MFA student who graduated in 2018. There are bookshelves with donated books spanning topics on queer theory to Latina history to biology that students are free to use. You'll often see students here working or taking a study break with friends and tea in hand. Up these stairs is the third floor and the final floor of La Casa. The first room you will come upon is the DSA room, the Dominican Student Association of Yale, also known as Quisqueyelis. 
DSA frequently hosts events such as domino chats every Friday, domino tournaments, and a mango brunch each semester featuring a traditional Dominican breakfast. The room itself has seating area and a domino table for members to hang out and play together. Across the hallway from the DSA room is the Mecha room, which serves as the primary meeting space for Mecha, named at its founding Movimiento Estudiantil Chicano de Aztlán de Yeo, now referred to as Mecha, a pan-Latino student activist organization and a founding organization of La Casa. Mecha collaborates and amplifies the voices of community organizers and activists in Connecticut. Mecha works to promote the human and social rights of migrants and Latina community members in New Haven and beyond. LUO is La Unidad Latina, Lambda Upsilon Lambda Fraternity Incorporated. LUO's Kappa chapter is the fraternity affiliated with La Casa, founded on this campus in 1992. They often collaborate with other Greek letter organizations, especially those for students of color, like the ones affiliated with the Afro American Cultural Center. We also have a few closets for La Casa affiliated groups to store their costumes and instruments, including mariachi, ballet folklorico, and sabasura, Yale's premier Latin dance team. Thanks for coming with us on a tour of La Casa. We hope that you enjoy seeing the amenities and rooms that we share here. We are so excited to welcome you into the space and into the community because La, La Casa, casa es su casa. casa.